Hey everybody, so I got this DeWalt Compound Miter Saw DWS 780. I'm in the process of redesigning the miter station because the previous one, as you can tell, was a 2x4 put together. And since then, I upgraded the saw from a Cobalt to DeWalt. And given this ginormous size we have, I had to make a new one. I tried looking up the dimensions online uh, on YouTube, didn't really find the exact things that I have stuff I was looking for. So I figured I'll do a quick dimension tour here for the saw and share it with you all just in case if someone else also was looking for it. All right, so let's get to the business here. We have the width starting from this point to this point. It's about 24 and a three quarter. Uh, but I won't really stop here because you also have the bulge where you got a handhold support. So that's about a quarter of an inch from both sides. So I would say uh, give or take. So give or take, you're looking at about 26 and a half inches of the base that you need even for a cross cut slide uh, for a saw. Now that's one part, 26 and a half inches is from we need eat from this point onwards to that point onwards, leaving enough room for your fingers to get in. Now, because this also is an angle cut here, so you gotta make a room. So I left about quarter of an inch here and I put the same uh, scale over there when this thing rotates on the other side. So that is already positioned for this recording. Now, so I'm gonna do the measurement here, edge to edge for the, uh, for the exact width when it's uh, angled uh, from both sides. To the maximum angles we got so this we are looking at about 31 and a three quarter uh, 31 and three quarter is what you need from uh, front to front when it's opened up all all the ways okay so 31 three quarter now in terms of the height when it's in a closed mode then you're looking at the height of about 17 inches i would say give or take 18 inches just so if you want your hands to get in so 18 inches high and the and the 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 handle is about uh, 14 inches uh, from the base uh, uh, so that's where it is now let's see how the height changes when we open this up because that's how you're going to use it okay so it's about 26 and a half inches but obviously you want room for your hand to get in as well so i would say i would give it a 28 inches just so you can get your hands very comfortably in uh, so 28 inches is from the base uh, to the top of the handle ma making sure that your hands can also get in 28 inches all right so one of the biggest complaints i have with this miter saw is the footprint it takes uh, from back end to the front end and that is where the deal breaker for me has been i mean i still love this saw. i think it's a great saw for what it's worth but that is a huge footprint you know given the all work in limited spaces you know in our garage or wherever you get a chance uh, so all right so let's see from the top from the bottom here okay so you can tell that it's not touching the stud here so that's why it'll be easy for me to measure it so let's see i'm going to measure it from back end to all the way to the front here okay so from the back end all the way till the front handle where we are i would say it's about uh, easily a good uh, 41 inches uh, i know in the camera it's not giving you the perspective but i'm right standing right on top of the mesh tape so i can tell it's about close to 41 inches uh, so that's where we are in terms of the total length now uh, that is a huge footprint in terms of you know especially when you're going to slide this thing all the way back in so that's where we are now if i uh, let's see if i bring this forward well i have the wires folded in i wasn't working but yeah so that's where we are um again a quick recap 31 and a three quarter when it's opened up with the angles on both sides 31 three quarter uh, 26 and a half from this edge uh, to, to this edge obviously leaving room enough room for your fingers to get inside that's about 26 and a half and about 18 inches of the height from this point to this but the ang the handle is obviously more important and that was about 28 inches uh, from the top so if you're making a dust shroud you know you need to have a dust shroud about at 28 inches of height uh, from this uh, this way here so all right so that's about it i think i have all the measurements that i need uh, for making my own uh, station uh, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again, great miter saw. The laser is, very, is is a great feature as well. But I wish there was a better way uh, for them to have made this sliding feature so it didn't really take all this additional uh, space, you know. All right, so that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later.